What's going on guys? I'm back with another video and in this video I will show you guys a crucial trick that will help you solve any type of problem that ever asks you the problem I'm about to ask you right now. So when you see this equation, right, you're automatically looking at this minus 900. You're like, all right, do I have to factor this? Because 113, 900, this would be almost impossible to factor. Let me tell you guys, when you see any type of, you know, parabola like this with these weird numbers, they will most likely ask you one simple question. And that question is, I definitely just opened an extra mark with my mouth. <laughs> and that question is, how many solutions does this equation have? So, how many solutions? Hopefully you don't get like marker poisoning, you know, if you open a cap with your mouth. How many solutions does this equation have? All right, I want you guys to pause the video and solve this for yourself. All right, I'm gonna give you guys uh, five seconds pause the video and solve this i want you guys to find out how many solutions does this equation have you can do use for quadratic formula you can um factor you can do whatever you want and you can search it up on google if you want to all right now that you guys hopefully have paused the video and tried it on your own if you guys know the trick then you know good for you if you don't i'm sure you just went through some misery so let me show you how to do it real quick there's something called a discriminant right b squared minus 4ac that is what you call the discriminant now you guys look at this like, hey, it's familiar, right? The quadratic formula, you have negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. The B squared minus 4AC, like I said, is called a discriminant. If you take this value, B squared minus 4AC, if it's less than zero, this means no solution. If it's equal to zero, it means one solution. If it's greater than zero, two solutions. So all you have to do is find the value of this. All right, so what is b squared? b squared is negative 900 squared minus 4 times 1 times 113. Okay, the thing is, you don't even have to simplify this. Already, you know this is greater than 0. Because what is negative 900 squared? It is 1 is 18. Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 81, my fault. 81,000. Subtracted by what, like four times 113? Guys, this is not bigger than 81,000. This will result in a positive number, which means greater than zero, which means two solutions, which means the answer to this problem is two solutions. See how I didn't factor, see how I didn't use quadratic formula, I didn't go through any misery. I just used a simple discriminant trick and you know, solve the problem nice and easy. So thank you guys for watching. Please like the video, share, subscribe, show your friends. You know, your friends maybe going through some misery, you gotta help them out. You gotta help them out, show them this trick. Make them believe that they'll get a 1600 on the SAT. Again, thank you guys for watching. Peace out, dude. Peace out, dude. Peace.